Hello, welcome to the channel. Um, Bob here again with another outward video. This is becoming a bit of a habit doing outward videos, but there you go. It's the game I'm playing at the moment, so um, yeah, I thought I would do some another video. Um, I kind of I was gonna can I just gonna do that? Oh yeah, there we go. Um, I was going to talk a bit about combat, um, but then I thought I would kind of do a, a magic video. Um, I know some, some some people are having some problems with the combat, and I and I, I'm not really sure what to say really to um, to help you out. I, it's um, um, I think it's just one of those things. It's a, it's a different sort of combat, and I think it's either it's something that you're. Let's have a look here. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, like from a from a melee combat point of view, I, as I said, I, I mean, my my um, my tactic is. Pretty much on most mobs have just been to um, like you shift and sidestep while I'm locked on, and this will this will generally mean that mobs will hit will miss me. You know that that's pretty much how it, how it works. And then you kind of get a hit in every now and again. It's very boring and frustrating, but you know I think that's just I'm not sure why he's um, why he's aggroed on me. Uh, my pet here is doing more damage than I expected him to do. I have to blast this dude. There we go. Oh, well done, pet. Okay, nice. Yeah, other than sort of like the, the, the dodging around and waiting to get an attack in, it, it, it's tricky. I mean, combat is really difficult at first. You know, I died a fair amount. Um, it's just one of those things. I think it's just that sort of game until you find what you're comfortable with and you find the weapon that you're comfortable with and a way of playing. I just think it's, yeah, I just think that if the if the shift and sidestep's not working, it's, it's probably about finding another way of doing it, whether it's the archer way or even the mage way. So I've, when I when I first saw this game, one of the images that I saw um, before I started playing was this, and this and this is kind of what I wanted. <laughs> it, it to me, it's like a, um, I love that whole wandering conjurer role play type, the wandering priest or whatever you want to be role playing type thing. It kind of remind me of Gandalf as well. So when I started playing the game, I, I, I wanted to be a magic user. Um, primarily, and I've kind of gone over to being a magic user completely, and I thought I would kind of talk a bit about magic today and um, and how it works. It's very interesting. There's three or four different schools there seem to be. I've kind of specialised in three. Um, uh, yeah, and and, I, and I'm, I'm only using magic. Uh, whether I come across a mob at some point in the future that's going to be immune to magic or, you know, is resistant to magic and it's going to be a problem, I don't know. But we'll see how we get on. So, um, the, the way magic generally seems to work is you've got some spells that do things, um, but, but then you've got sigils that you, that you put on the ground. So, for example, um, if I put let's do if I if I, if I cast a, this is a wind sigil. Um, you can only use wind sigils if you've unlocked the wind totem in, in that particular area. You need to find not normally very difficult to find, so it's not too much of a problem. So being in the wind sigil um, then causes your other spells to do different effects. So uh, wind sigil plus spark, which is this spell, which I've got on E down here on my menu. Uh, if I cast spark in, in the wind sigil, it will do um, area effect lightning damage. If I put a fire sigil down and use spark, um, it will do... Um, it will shoot, shoot out like a fireball at a single target, which does damage over time. So that's kind of the way that... Um, the spells work you know spells uh, some spells have an effect on their own um but prior to this uh, this mob spawns here quite quickly actually um yes yeah, so they have a sort of um an effect on their own but generally when you combine them that's when they work so that's kind of like sigil magic and you get fire ice and wind sigils to use um where's the have i got where's fire there's a fire sigil um I'm finding it quite useful to go into my bar and cart, go into my skills tree and cast spells as well, because you can only got a certain amount on your hot bar, so that that's quite that's quite useful. So using spark in here um, shoots a fireball, um, and that does damage over time. Uh, good good damage over time as well, but um, that's really really good. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, and there's all sorts of things. Um, so yeah, so these other spells as well. Like if I use if I use conjure. Um, let's see if I can cast. Let's cast a. Let's cast a wind one as well. So if I, if I go in and use conjure in a, in a wind sigil, it, it it does a, again. It does like a seems to do an area effect lightning damage thing. 
like that. Um, and you can kind of double them up. So I don't know if I use spark here. Yeah, so if I use spark there, it, it, it seems to do the fire ball damage. Um, plus also it did the, the, uh, the area effect damage. So that's pretty cool. So I think you can stack sigils on top of each other. I'm assuming if you've got the ice one, you can put the ice one down as well. Um, so you can stack them on top of each other and do damage that way. The, the other, the other, um, oh, here we go. Are you coming over to play or are you going to stay over there? You kind of seems to be zooming. I'll get my lantern up. So I've, I've got like a lightning bolt spell, but I can only do that um, if I've got up lantern. Um, and land, yeah, so sorry, I'm, get, I'm getting a different magic here. So then you've got runic magic. So it's these four runes here Des, um, Egoth, Fowl, and Shim. And you kind of use those in conjunction with each other. So generally, it seems to be that you need to use two, and then there are some other combinations you can use afterwards. Um, so, yeah, using, um, using um, two, I, I kind of, I've, I've got the numbers written down as I learned them because it's easy to remember the name. So if I go two, two R, it creates this land, it creates this, this glowing orb above my head. Uh, runic Lantern Amplified. Um, and then what that then does is that then, that, 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 that then allows me to cast another spell. Um, I'm just gonna put down, just in case, I'm gonna put down a, I'll, I'll talk about that one anyway. Gonna, yeah, so the, the, the little glowing orb lets me cast a lightning bolt spell, which I wouldn't have been able to, to have cast previously. Oh no, that was bad. That was okay. There we go. Um, yeah, so all spells work together, and I, I like the way the runic things work. It's really, really good. If I use um, R plus one, it gives me um, a protection, uh, runic protection. Uh, amplified, because like, I've got the amplified skill, which makes it more powerful. Then if I use, if you, oh, so that's R one. And if, I, if I'm, if I'm injured, if I use one, then R rune, um, it heals me basically. So there's lots of different combinations. I quite like the runic blade one. You can summon up a runic blade that you can use. Um, I'm not sure if it's a... Oh, it is. A, yeah, it's actually got its own stats as well. Not brilliant, but in a pinch if you're desperate uh, you can you can use the runic blade. Um, I did just summon... We're going to go... I'm just travelling into, into a new area as well, so um, I thought I would show you the new area that I'm going to travel into. Abrasar, which I haven't been to yet. Um... It's a desert, so I imagine the heat might be a problem. What I might do first of all is just see if I've got any. I'm sure I've got loads of stuff that helps against the heat. Um, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Increases fire resistance. I wonder. Oh, concussion provides relief from warm and cold temperatures. Okay, so we can we can use that if we need to. If things are a bit a bit toasty when we travel, because it is a desert, I think. So um, let's go and have a look at it. I haven't been here before, so I thought it'd be just fun to have a look. Um, you can also summon a pet, as you could see. I had that pet there. That's that's pretty good. That's a couple of spells. So the spell, I love the spell system. There's a, a combination of things that you need to do to cast spells, um, and it can be quite dangerous as well because you're because the sigil spells, you need to be kind. You need to cast a spell in them when the mobs are in them, basically. To um... okay, so it was this one, wasn't it? Let's see if that helps. Mm, okay, my temperature's still going up, but it seems to have helped. Uh, I want to head to. I've come in here, so I need to to head east eastwards to Levant. I'm travelling to Levant for a reason, which I'll point out which I'll show you at some point. Um, that looks a bit scary over there, so we will ignore that. Um, yeah, so I've so the Wandering Condra Gandalf thing was something that really appealed to me, so that's 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 where everything's been leading to. <laughs> and now I'm here, I'm really enjoying the play style, and um, I'm enjoying just wandering around exploring and doing, oh, hello, what is that? Wander around exploring, doing stuff, it's all, uh, it's all good fun. I'm not sure if I can conjure. I'm not sure if I can conjure my pet from um, from a mob. Actually, let's, let's give it a go. Single target. I'll use runic. I use my runic magic primarily. Um, that, that's a little trap. 
That's a little sigil trap. Um, see how much damage my lightning does. Well, not loads. Oh, he's a range. He's a range dude as well. <laughs> okay, steady on, steady on. Just want to lure him over my trap, really. I just want to see if I can summon a pet from him. There we go. Uh, okay, this mob was called uh, Fire, Fire something. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, let's do Reveal Soul. No, it doesn't have a soul, apparently. So we'll need to look at um, a humanoid mob to do that, I think. And that's fine. A couple more on there. I think we'll ignore those. That looks uh, interesting. I don't want to discover... I'm, I'm, I'm travelling to Levant for a reason. It's kind of to do with part of my build. So I don't want to... Yeah, I'm not going to explore too much. I just want to get to Levant and then we'll then I'll kind of move on. If we find a humanoid mob, I will... Um, I will, will oh, that must be Levant up there. We will, we will pick up a pet so I can show you how that works. Um, from a sort of, sort of I could, from a traditional fantasy role playing point of view, with regards to maybe increasing your damage and whatnot, um, there are a couple of a, a couple of abilities that you can use to increase your damage. There are some potions you can use that increase your fire damage, lightning damage, etc. Whatever it is you want to do, doesn't seem to be any way particularly of of raising it. The spell seems to have a flat rate of damage, and then you can use some potions or an ability or something to to raise the uh, yeah to increase the damage from that. Um, obviously, combining stuff as well can can increase the damage. Um, there's some interesting mobs. I'm going to enjoy exploring this section. I think uh, I do like not as much as a, a snowy biome, but I do enjoy a, a nice. Um, I do, do enjoy a nice desert. I, I like the stark landscapes. Um, but they're generally my favourites. Cold mostly, but I, I don't mind a nice desert as well. Um, from a build, let's get to the city first, um, and we'll uh, we'll go from there. Is that a mob, or is that just a a thing? It looks like it might be just a thing. <laughs> we'll go around it. Oh, there's a caravan over there. Awesome. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I mean, I'm still absolutely loving the game. It, I just have not stopped playing it, and since I've kind of, you know, built built myself up to be a mage, then I'm, I'm kind of just enjoying it um, even more. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a, a game of um, it's something that you just don't see generally. I don't think in a role playing sphere, you know, in 2019 and, and pre or previously really. I know you got Dark Souls and stuff, but I would consider this more of an RPG than those. And you just don't get this, this, the, the danger, you know, the anticipation, the excitement of going out. You know, I, I'm not omnipotent. Um, things will kill me easily if I'm not careful. Uh, you need to prepare. You know, death is death is punished. It's a danger, and it's just something that I, you just don't see. Oh, there's a little corpse over here. Let's hope it's not a trap. Open corpse. Hello. Well, we'll nick your silver because you're not going to need that. Can increase my fire damage, and we'll take some turnips. Term turnips are good for magic users. They make this concoction, and these. Are, I wonder if these are all going to rot together because I'm sure I didn't make them together. Um, that'd be annoying. Um, yeah, turnip pot. Oh no, they've all got their own. That's good. Turnip pottage um, it increases your mana regeneration. With regards to, um, uh, oh, I need to talk a bit about the skill system. Um, you get free skill points to use to unlock the advanced skill levels, advanced skills in, in a tree. Uh, you can't earn any more. Um, and this is the one the one thing about the game that I, I say didn't like, that um, kind of I did something about, essentially. Um, I'm not, a, I mean, this game is all about one save saves your progress. It saves the decisions you make, so you can't go backwards, which is fine. I'm, 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 you know, more than happy with that. I love this environment. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm all for that. But one of the things, if you've watched me over course videos, one of the things that you'll know is that I can't stand playing a class that um, 
or using skills that I just don't like. I just can't knuckle down and do it because it's the most powerful or whatever. Um, I just, I just, you know, that just, annoy it just puts me off the game essentially. And what this game does is that it doesn't really give you a huge amount of information. So when you use a skill point, um, you lose one of your three and you can't get any more. You've only got three, so you can only unlock three skill trees. Um, and that for me was a, yeah, just a bit, a bit frustrating. Um, well, no, it was a lot frustrating. Uh, you, it's just something that um, I like to play games in the way that I like to play them. I understand, you know, that they want to, um, they want your decisions to be meaningful. But that was one, oh, there's a guy over here. Um, wow, look at that, sculpting. <laughs> That's awesome. Sculpting's always fascinated me. I just don't know. I think it's one of the most talented things ever. I just don't know how you get to that from a block of a block of marble. It's just phenomenal. More so than painting and anything else. I just I just can't get my head around how how they do that. This is a great city. It looks very cultured. Um, <laughs> old paintings here. Oh, this is great. Um, yeah, so my, my, once you've chosen your once you've chosen your tree to unlock, it's kind of that's locked in, um, and I didn't like that. So what I did, I cheated a bit, I guess. And there is a de there's a debug menu or a developer's menu you can get you can get up if you want to. Um, the way you get that up is can't talk to him. The way you get that up is to create a debug.txt file, um, stick it in. If you check if you check on online, you'll find it. But you you, you stick it in the um, you stick it in the outward folder in in Steam in the Steam folders. You go through some folders and stuff. Are oh, they playing chess? Is it chess? Hmm. Not quite chess. Maybe it's drafts because all the pieces are similar. Form of drafts. Oh, interesting. These people are very cultured. Um, yeah, but what it basically allowed me to do was was do this. Um, it allowed me to. Um, it allowed me to to basically. Um, correct the, mis the mistakes that I'd made um, because I didn't really know in advance what I was doing um, and choose the skills that I wanted to choose uh, basically I haven't cheated anyway in the sense that I I've paid for all the skills I made sure I paid for everything I haven't added skills that I shouldn't have I just give myself everything but I just wanted to to be able to build the character I wanted to and uh, that allowed me to do that this is great here I love this or oh, wizard type I'm here for a certain item, just to help myself along the way. Chewing on a scroll. Yes. Oh, he's a tailor. This worries <laughs> me. I want to train with you. I teach you how to give yourself a boon of warmth. Or increasing the damage on your own flames too. I don't think I've got that. Yeah, Remember we'll take this. we'll take that because I've got a skill that increases my boon. Um, increases my boon. Curious. Power. Okay, that's another skill. Yes. This worries me. Have you got any mage stuff? Arcane hood. I like my hat. bright nobleman hat. <laughs> um, oh, coral horn mask. Yeah, it's not as good as my hat. I don't think I could get rid of my pointy hat because it's just too Gandalfy, really. Um, lots of different armor types with lots of different things going on. Some of them are resistant to fire and poison and stuff. I haven't got to a point, I mean I kept thinking about building myself. Uh, desert boots, nice. Entomber boots. Well, they make you run a bit quicker. I did consider um, buying myself sets of armour that's resistant to certain things because there are certain areas where you just um, uh, this guy's charging me more generally than, than I have been paying. Yeah, there are areas where you take uh, certain damage types and it might be a good idea to have um, resistances to those but I haven't come across anything yet that's a real been, it's been a real issue and has made me think oh god I need a, a set of you know poison resistance armour or whatever a weapon merchant what could I do for you I see you've got the mercenary tree this is this 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 um, this is called a break Breakthrough skill. This is where you normally have to spend your skill points. Um, you see, I haven't got any, basically. Uh, but that normally unlocks a higher tier. You can get all of these down here. Um, Three star removal penalties from wearing armor by 50%. Oh, okay. So I can still. So you can still buy these skills if you want. Um, 
this guy's got the uh, you can use you can use pistols pistol here which I think would be awesome and uh, yeah you can do that um, oh that's a nice one but I can't get that because it's, it's locked behind the the uh, swift foot breakthrough skill that's interesting 100 hmm Oh, so I need to unlock that first. 150. I'm not too fussed about that. But there are still, as I said before, about getting skills that increase your health and whatnot. There are still skills that you can get and do that. Um, even if you haven't unlocked the um, Flux Gold. Wow. Can I help? This worries me. Curious. Yeah. Lots of coins. Go oh, okay. Little quest. Can you lend me a hand? <laughs> okay. I need to got a quest to get some some um, shark cartilage. What is this guy selling? I spent quite a lot of time buying um, buying uh, recipes and learning them. I don't think there's anything here that I need particularly. A lot of this stuff I can make myself. Um, spiny mer spiny meringue. I do have a meringue, but not with spines in. Um, I'm thinking. Want to buy some? Oh boy! <laughs> oh, he's got lots of backpacks here. Alchemist backpack. Oh, it slows down decay. I don't think I'll give up all of my, you know. Ah, mage tent. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Thank you, mage tent. So I've got my mage tent. So that's kind of like I show you my build now. That's basically my build. Not done. Um, but I've got a wide black hat that gives me is the, 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 playing a mage this is quite important it really lowers the mana cost so the hat increases my speed which is great it lowers the, the mana cost of my spells so that's like 50% mana cost reduction in my spells which is good lexicon I need to use runic magic there was a skill that let's move that to my bag there was a skill there was a skill that you can unlock which lets you use runic magic without carrying a lexicon um, but there was also one that increased oh the, that increased the um, increased the power of your rune magic, which is what I went for. What I'm wondering and hoping is if there's a lexicon that um, I should maybe go back to that. Oh, let's have a drink while we're here. I should maybe go back to that. Look, look for a mage trainer, a mage. Uh, Can I help you? This worries me. Oh, he's a chef, so he Farewell, won't. Be, my friend. So he won't have anything. So that's that's yeah. Where was that mage dude? Uh, that was him over there, wasn't it? I think it's where the inn was as well. So we'll go back to the inn, check out the inn, speak to this guy again. Yeah, so it's it's, it's important to, if you, well, as I say important, you know, maybe not, but as a mage, it's, it's quite nice to have that. Um, yes. Oh, he's a tailor, he's this not a mage. Me. Um, so he's not going to have any lexicons. Is this the... Oh, I think I'm probably in a different section to where I... Oh, Rogue Trainer. Two and the Alchemist. Which I think... I need to go and see the Alchemist. Anyway, I won't bore you with this. This is just a video to show you some magic um, in Outward, really. It's really interesting. I, I love it. Um, it's really, really cool. Uh, yeah, that's it, really. I, I should, pro should probably have done this video where I was more inclined to be fighting stuff so you could see more magic. I might do that instead of this video, maybe. <laughs> or maybe I'll do another video showing some magic in action. Anyway, whatever I do, thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you again soon.